ECU Athletics presents The Coach Mo Show. The Coach Mo Show is brought to you by Vitant Health, official health system of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the show this week. Coach Mo will be here in just a couple of minutes and we'll look at the highlights from the Tulane game. Brian Bailey has our Pirate player profile as well. It will be Trayvon Brown. Trayvon's having a great junior season for the Pirates. Jeff Connors will be here too. Another segment with Camp Connors and also coming up a preview look at the Cincinnati Bearcats. It will be senior day for the Pirates. The final home game at Downey Ficklin Stadium. Bagwell Field and Brian Medor will have our scouting report. Hang in there with us. Coach Mo joins me right after this. He has Hal to his right. Spellacy gets ready to snap it back and does. And the handoff will go to Hal. He cuts back in to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Still on his feet, struggling forward. He's in. Touchdown, Pirates. to Sunlink for more. Like internet, TV, and phone starting at $59.99 a month for one year. Want more? For $10 more, get five times faster internet and Showtime for one year. Want even more of more? And you can get Netflix for one year. Already have Netflix? We'll pay for it. What's more? Get a free Android tablet. Call 877-566-3401 or visit Sunlink.com for special web-only offers. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship. Basketball fans, show your undaunted pirate passion and pride every game this season with the purchase of ECU men's and women's basketball season tickets. You won't want to miss the excitement when conference rivals and perennial NCAA tournament teams come to Minge's Coliseum. Take advantage of the affordable family fun by ordering your basketball season tickets today over the phone at 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. Today's highlights are brought to you by these local nationwide insurance agents. Coach Mo joins us now. Coach, always tough to lose, but when you lose in overtime, it makes it even tougher, doesn't it? Yeah, you lose in overtime when it's fourth and one for your defense to get the win right there, and then fourth and one for your offense to get the, you know, the tie, potential tie to, to win a game is really, really tough. But I'll tell you what, you have to be proud of your guys. Uh, they paddled to the end, didn't they? You know, we, we've, we've known who this team is for a long time. We hadn't necessarily shown uh, the heart of the Pirates. Uh, tonight we showed it. But I told people it's not enough to just do things right. we got to start doing things well. You know, I was, I was impressed with some of our penalty discipline and, and other things and the defense getting some turnovers. Uh, but there are no moral victories. Let's go now to those first half highlights. Very, very cold night for sure as the Pirates and Tulane line up for this American Athletic Conference matchup. And, Coach, uh, both teams executed so well in their first possession. Tulane, 14 plays, 75 yards, and they get a touchdown here. 
Yeah, they, they did. They really threw a lot at us. Um, we, we wanted to force them to uh, show us a lot of stuff that they had in that first first drive and not give up any big plays. They put together a 14 play drive. Uh, we come back and make some plays the next for ourselves. Yeah, the Pirates come back on the next drive, 12 plays, 75 yards, and Hassan Howell really played well. He was catching the ball out of the backfield. He was running the ball well. You guys go right down the field. Pinnix takes it in at 7-7. Yeah, really, really good job right there by our offense responding to that, especially since we deferred to the second half. And then Hilliard, who's uh, really a fine back, 60-yard touchdown run here, puts Tulane up 14-7. to He came as advertised. He had almost 200 yards in this game. Yeah, I think he was, uh, you know, just patient, like I said. Uh, but we didn't we didn't wrap up very well on him. We had him tackled a couple of times, and everything he got was a lot of second effort. So uh, we, we got to do a better job of getting guys on the ground. Pirates battle right back next series. Minshew goes to the air. He's mixing it up. He's hitting different receivers here. And then Hal makes a terrific run here, Coach. 25 yards for the touchdown. Yeah, what a run. I thought he looked fast. He looked quick there. Uh, really got the ball downhill, and then he kept his balance as well to get it in the end zone. Tulane comes back with the ball late in the second quarter. They get a good pass play of uh, 35 yards down the middle and then they have to settle for the field goal a 26 yarder here by Glover and puts him up by three huge play in the game for our defense to be able to hold him to three gives us a chance to come out of the locker room get some points and, and get back in the lead 17 14 our score at halftime Tulane with a three-point lead First down and goal from the nine-yard line. 42 seconds remaining. Pirates trail 24-17, and Minshew's in the pocket. He's looking. He's going to throw. Man out there. Catches the ball. DeAndre Barrier with the catch for the touchdown. He went up high. The hands extended over the helmet in the back corner of the end zone. Your crew made a good call, hitting up Golden Corral's all-new Smokehouse. You could go with the beef brisket, cook low and slow on sight, or the savory fall of bartender ribs. Or you could start with dessert. You're the boss, boss. We have over 150 choices, but the only one that matters is yours. Golden Corral, your choice rules. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus. Because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. It's non-stop when we're born. It can be awkward, unexpected, or simply perfect. But at its core, attention is good. Here it's multiplied, not divided, and given to our clients every day. BB&T, all we see is you. Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research, discovering molecules that kill cancer cells, T-cell generation that could treat MS, breakthroughs in particle laser physics, top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right, this is ECU. America's next great national university. So the Pirates are trailing 17 to 14 as we go to the second half. And uh, I thought especially in the second half, Coach, your defensive line really dominated up front and did a, a great job against the run. Yeah, they've been they've been playing well for a long time. You know, we've, we've had some issues of getting gap sound back behind it. Uh, but they played well. They did a good job in the second half. And then offensively, uh, what did you try and do in the second half? 
you know, we tried to move the ball around a little bit. Now, unfortunately, when we tried to force the ball in the, our playmakers down the boundaries, we thought we had some good matchups. We just didn't make the plays that we, we used to make. We're going to continue to give those guys opportunities to make plays on the, on the boundary. And, 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 and the hardest thing was we lost Quay. We thought Quay had a good chance to be big in the interior part of the, of the field. We had some young guys come in. Uh, you know, DeAndre came in and made a play for us, so we were happy to see him in there. Let's go to those second half highlights. And the ball was bouncing back and forth. The Pirates did a great job as they forced three turnovers. Let's check them out. Don't see a big defensive lineman make that many interceptions, but Jalen Price made this one. This was big. I thought he was going to score. Uh, he, he came out running with that thing. He looks, he shows you how athletic he is. And it's good to see those, those guys come up with some turnovers there. And then the Pirates uh, turned the ball over here on the Minshew uh, interception. Yeah, unfortunate. You know, we just got to continue to make sure that we, we do things the right way and we take care of the football. And, uh, you know, it was getting to a point in time there where we were thinking that we had a couple of options, different places. We just didn't make plays. And, Coach, this is also a big play in the second half. Thomas Sirk comes in. Great play call here. Just didn't execute it on the fourth and short. You know, it's been, you know, t today's game came down to fourth downs. We had worked on this play. We got it game ready. We knew that we, what we were going to get. All we had to do is, uh, you know, throw a little jump pass back over to our back because everybody had been so downhill at our backs. We were setting it up the whole game. And uh, we get a chance to go execute it, and we don't. We turn it over on downs. And then this was a very big play in this game. The fake punt executed uh, very well here by Tulane. They get the first down, block the punter, throws the ball complete for the first down, and then Hilliard takes it in on the very next play for the touchdown. You know, really, really um, good, you know, good, good execution by them and poor execution by us. We were in punt safe right there. So we still had our defense on the field, and it's the reason why I called it, because I felt like something could be coming there. Uh, at that point in the field, and, and, and we were starting to stop them a little bit uh, in, in some different situations. So uh, I, I felt like something was coming. We called punt safe. We just don't go out and execute it. Tulane goes up 24 to 14. Then the paddle, uh, Pirates start to battle back here, Coach. And Keontae Anderson back out there playing. Made this big-time fumble recovery at the 15. Huge play, you know. He just continued to find ways to come back in the game. He was banged up. He came back. We didn't know we were going to have him until Wednesday of this week, but he played hard. You know, the unfortunate thing about all these turnovers that we're talking about, we were only able to get three points out of them. Yeah, exactly. Verity has to come in here and boot the 30-yard field goal. And then uh, there is a, another pick, no points result from that. And then the Pirates uh, continue to, to battle back in this one, Coach. And then this was a big play here, a great throw by Minshew, great catch by Farrier. And the Pirates tie it up here late and force the overtime. Just well, just just great execution. Well, well done by uh, the quarterback and the wide out there. That's what we've been looking for down there. We threw uh, a few times down there. We've thrown different things. We just weren't very successful throwing the ball tonight as I would have liked to have been. Uh, but that time we made, we made a play. And coach, how about that play Jimmy Williams made to set this up? You know, we win this ball game. We're probably going to be talking about that. Like that's the biggest play of the entire year uh, because. Uh, for him to be in the condition that he's in, to be able to go down and catch that ball, uh, it's just amazing. I, I, one of the best catches I've seen. Yeah, no doubt about that. So it's 24-24. We go into overtime. Tulane gets the ball first, and, and they run the ball so well, and Banks takes it in here. Yeah, fourth and one. we gotta get, we, we got to be a little bit have better containment there. Uh, we, we trying to, we're trying to get our safeties over there to take care of the quarterback. You know, so much speed that he had on us a couple of times. We, we trying to stop everything on the inside. And our safeties didn't quite get over the top there to make that play. And uh, they scored a touchdown as a result. They go up 31-24. Pirates have their shot now. Move the ball right down the field. Uh, Devin Anderson uh, comes in. And it looked like he was going to get tackled at about the five-yard line. But he got the corner turned and takes the ball down uh, to the one-yard line here. Yeah, we got it down there to a little bit about the one-yard line or so. And, you know, Devin got down there and did a good job. And, you know, they, they slowed us down a little bit. Uh, so they got to see our formation. The, the first call that we had, they got to see our formation. He calls a timeout, which then, of course, we had to adjust because uh, they had seen the adjustment. Then they didn't have another timeout. So we came back with another uh, style uh, formation in play. And uh, unfortunately, it just didn't work. Yeah, fourth down and one. Penix gets the ball and can't get it into the end zone. And that's the way the game ends in overtime. Tulane 31, East Carolina 24. So as you just saw, it comes down to the overtime. Tulane gets the ball first. They score. The Pirates get the ball second. Come up just a little bit short. Coach, I know you're going to be asked about the last play, so what can you tell us about that? You know, it's one of the plays that we, we work on in that situation. You get fourth and one down there. We've thrown the ball down there about four or five times. Wasn't very successful, you know, um, throwing it. 
And uh, we'd also, we also, we completed one over there in the other, on, on the other side. We wanted to create a little bit of misdirection with the stretch going the other way with the uh, receiver and then give it to a back that we put in this situation in practice all the time, Darius Penix. And unfortunately, we didn't get it done in our front with our back. Hassan Howe really played well. He played his best game as a Pirate, didn't he? I thought he did a spectacular job. Uh, you know, he made some runs out there that, you know, there was really nothing sometimes out there on the perimeter where we were stretching them and they just had one extra. He put his foot in the ground, got back inside, got us four yards. Really impressed with the way he ran the football. I know before the game we talked about the player, your safeties was going to be a big key in this game. Corin Wiggins, he was all over the field making tackles. He was, you know, he made some critical, critical tackles down there to the screen play to give us an opportunity. He made plays all over the field. You know, it was going to be one of those games where it's going to come down to it, and, and every single play just about did come down to the safety play. We'll come back and we'll have more after this. Pirate fans. Planet Fitness in Greenville is a proud sponsor of ECU football. Sail in for this great deal. Get the Planet Fitness black card now and enjoy exclusive access at Planet Fitness in Greenville, Wilson, Rocky Mount, and throughout the Triangle area. One low price for everything Planet Fitness. Unlimited guest privileges, free unlimited fitness training, hydro massage and massage chairs, tanning, and more. Make out like a pirate. Get the Planet Fitness black card today. Online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness, the world judges. We don't. Switch to Suddenlink for more. Like internet, TV, and phone starting at $59.99 a month for one year. Want more? For $10 more, get five times faster internet and showtime for one year. Want even more of more? And you can get Netflix for one year. Already have Netflix? We'll pay for it. What's more? Get a free Android tablet. Call 877-566-3401 or visit suddenlink.com for special web-only offers. 7,000 student athletes rising to become champions in 21 different sports at 13 esteemed institutions across 11 states. 360,000 students and 2.6 million alumni rise up in celebration of a Power Six conference known as the American. Something's happening here. Groundbreaking research, discovering molecules that kill cancer cells, T-cell generation that could treat MS, breakthroughs in particle laser physics, top programs graduating business leaders, teachers, nurses, physicians, dentists, and healthcare specialists. If you're thinking this only happens at great national universities, you're right, this is ECU, America's next great national university. Welcome back to the show. Trayvon Brown has been a big play guy for the Pirates this year. The junior from Wilmington had a chance to stop by and visit with our Brian Bailey. It's time now for today's Pirate Profile. Brought to you by Quality Collision. Quality Collision, more than a name, a commitment. Trayvon Brown is ECU's big time, big play threat. This was supposed to be his last year at ECU, his last set of games to come until he was recently granted a red shirt for last season. Now he's got a whole new outlook on his football future. I thought I was a senior until a few, few, a few weeks ago. Um, they told me I got a year back. So, I mean, I plan every game just like it's my last. And these seniors, for, for me to be here five years with these seniors that's going out now, I mean, it's a blessing to be here and it's a blessing to be with them. And time is coming short. It's bittersweet, but, I mean, yeah, I love these boys to death. The good news for Brown is that there is time, a whole season to come, and Brown vows to be a better leader going forward. Uh, I mean, I've been here, it's going to be five and a half, but I mean, I love it here. I love, I love the coaches, I love the atmosphere here, I love my teammates, it's just, it's just fun. Oliver's return, change that, he gets double. Mitchell checking down, looking long for Brown, somehow makes the grab! Trayvon Brown, touchdown! 
Drayvon Brown is as good as there is, but he's had problems staying on the field because of injuries, and that's been especially frustrating. Score! Touchdown! Yeah, it's tough. Uh, I just because I feel like I, anything I can do to help, I just want to help. Even if I'm running a route, being a decoy, catching the ball, catching the game with a touchdown pass, I just want to be out here. When the boys go win in the Valley, and we go sing the fight song. I just want to be right there. And Trayvon Brown will be right there for one more year. Reporting for the Coach Mo Show, I'm Brian Bailey. Five, four, three, two. Today we have with us freshman center John Spellacy. We're going to take a look at some exercises that strengthen the triceps. Today we're working with a bar that some people refer to as a football bar, some people refer to it as a Swiss bar. Uh, we like it because it's specific uh, to the position of the hands with the punching movement for offensive linemen. Shoulder and tricep strength is very important to all offensive linemen. So John's going to hit about six or eight reps here. We're going to superset that with a movement that, that targets the long head of the triceps. We're going to extend out. We'll bring it back, we'll bring his knees off the pad, do a push up, punch it up, and back down with the knees. Continue with that progression. We're also involved in the core here as well. He's got to stabilize himself on that bar. Good job. We'll finish this tri set. We've got three exercises. With the supine dumbbell extension, he's going to drop it down, get a little momentum so you can use heavier weight. Extend. Good. Good. I like this exercise because you're using each arm independently. Great job. John has been starting this year for us as a freshman. Everybody out there knew the quality of player that the nose guard was at Houston. John couldn't wait there to compete against him. He did a great job. He's got a great future here. Camp Connors is brought to you by Core Power, official protein drink of the Pirates. So you're up at dawn, kid, look alive. You've been saving for a big man cave. Good luck with that, Dave. You made the most of your retirement plan, so you better learn to drive that RV man. So many things you're doing in your life. Nationwide is on your side. Tens of thousands of students attend East Carolina University, and some never set foot on campus because our distance education classes are taught by professional faculty and held to the same high standards as on-campus learning. As one of the largest universities and the largest online community in the state, you'll find the Pirate Nation wherever you are. With this many ways to connect, share, and succeed, we'll guide you to graduation and beyond. ECU Online, North Carolina's leader in distance education. I'm not the type to say any of this mushy garbage. You know what? I'm going for it. You are completely and utterly awesome. I'm glad you showed up. In my life. I think I'm about to cry. You better not. Every single time I get down. You always have my back. My back. It's really hard to describe. It's like all these tiny little things. Yes, yes, things. Are actually friendship. It's non-stop when we're born. It can be awkward, unexpected, or simply perfect. But at its core, attention is good. Here it's multiplied, not divided, and given to our clients every day. bb and all we see is you.
basketball fans. Show your undaunted pirate passion and pride every game this season with the purchase of ECU men's and women's basketball season tickets. You won't want to miss the excitement when conference rivals and perennial NCAA tournament teams come to Minge's Coliseum. Take advantage of the affordable family fun by ordering your basketball season tickets today over the phone at 800-DIAL-ECU or online at ecupirates.com. Pirate Nation, on behalf of our team and our coaching staff, I want to say thank you. You're the reason we play. You're the reason our game day experience at Bagwell Field inside Dowdy Ficklin Stadium is as energetic and dynamic as it is. You're the reason our young men have the opportunity to wear the purple and gold. Being a Pirate is more than a state of mind. It's a way of life. We ask that you continue to bring that passion and enthusiasm each and every Saturday, and we'll continue to be undaunted in our pursuit of greatness. Again, we appreciate all that you do to make ECU a special place. Go Pirates! A look back to great bowl wins in Pirate history. December 23rd, 2007, Honolulu, Hawaii. Fireworks were expected in this holiday showdown at the Hawaii Bowl between the Pirates and Boise State. Senior Chris Johnson had a monster game, racking up 233 yards rushing and a pair of touchdowns but the Pirates would rely on the foot of kicker Ben Hartman, whose 34-yarder as time expired lifted the Pirates to the 41-38 win over the nationally ranked Broncos. Welcome back to the show. The first-year head coach of the Cincinnati Bearcats is Luke Fickle. He will bring UC into town for a 12 noon kickoff next week. And our Brian Medor has the scouting report. Progress is all first-year head coach Luke Fickle is trying to see out of his Bearcats this season, and progress is exactly what they're giving him. Fickle's club has shown glimpses that the future can be bright. Freshman running back Jared Dokes has a chance to be a star in this league as he showed in the breakout performance against Tulane. He could be a handful if the Bearcats jump out to an early lead. Even with Dokes' emergence, the Cincy offense ranks last in the conference, managing just 350 yards a game. They hope to change that against a Pirate defense that gives up 570 a contest. Despite their record, the Cincinnati defense isn't that bad. They're really strong against the pass, so the Pirates need to establish the run to get Davon Grayson and other Pirate receivers some good looks. The Pirates lead the all-time series against the Bearcats 12-8, but Cincinnati has won the last six. Kickoff is set for high noon. Come out and support Grayson and the rest of the Pirate seniors. It's Senior Day at Downey Ficklin Stadium. I'm Brian Medor for the Coach Mo Show. Thanks so much for being with us on the show. Pirate fans, you're the best. We'll see you next week. The Coach Mo Show has been presented by Suddenlink. One gig speed from Suddenlink is here. The Coach Mo Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.